Hey guys, it's Rob again, and I managed to track down the problem with this 130X tail servo. It was just one of the small wires that come loose. There's a, um, two little wires in there. You probably can't see it in the, the video too well, but uh, I just noticed the black wire had actually just uh, come loose on the solder, so it just wasn't getting power. Uh, it was a little bit fiddly. It took me about five, ten minutes to actually do a, a decent solder on the joint that I was happy with. Um, and uh, it works perfectly. So, uh, yeah, problem solved. The tail servo is working nice. And I managed to take it out flying, but I forgot to bring my hat with the, uh, the cap cam. And uh, another change I've made to this helicopter, just some of the recommendations that I've read and been suggested to me, is I've put the actual canopy grommets onto these uh, swash plate linkages, and it's completely corrected. The vibration that you saw in one of my videos earlier and the existing grommets that were on this uh, swash setting here i've put on the tail just on the tail pitch slider so it's removed a lot of the uh, movement in the tail and the uh, the vibration problem the wobble problem um, is also removed so the last flight i did i just went out and did one just before it got too dark uh, a little while ago and I have to say, it was flying really, really nicely. The best it's ever flown. Um, I just did a four minute flight with a standard LiPo and it flew absolutely perfectly. It was locked in, the tail was brilliant um, and there was none of that little wobble that, uh, that you've seen in your previous, the previous videos I've made. Um, so yeah, so I've got a lot more confidence in it now. Uh, and also the fact that um, when it did have its incident with the tail servo, it, um, it came down pretty hard onto asphalt, like on a, a concrete car park, and uh, it's got virtually no damage. Well, only the tiniest, tiniest little bit of a nick on one of the uh, rotor blades. In fact, it's almost hard to detect. Yeah, there it is there. I think just a little slight nick on the rotor blade. But other than that, helicopter's perfect. So I'm starting to get a bit more confidence in uh, just how robust it actually is. Thanks for watching.